us are speaking in tongues. As the Spirit of God give utterance, amen. We certainly thank God for my pastor and father, Apostle C. and Coward. Amen. Certainly thank God for our presiding bishop, Bishop McLeod, our district bishop, Bishop Williams. Amen. District elder, New North, North District, District elder, Nixon Philiston. Amen. Thank God for each and every one of you, especially to our first-time visitors, Miss Tina and Miss Rhonda Lee. God bless you both. We appreciate you coming here to be with us today. Amen. You may be seated. I won't be here before you long. Amen. I just wanted to speak to you. Amen. What the Lord has given me. Thank you, Lord. I was praying, and as I was speaking to God, amen, the Lord was telling me uh, that we need to start transgressing tradition. Our message today is transgress the tradition. He said, well, Pastor, what do you mean by transgress? You know, transgress means to break or turn aside or to leave. And sometimes people can't get what they need from God because they're stuck in tradition, stuck in a certain way, stuck in a certain form. And we have to be careful that we don't get stuck so far in tradition to where God can't really move. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. And I realized that, you know, during this time and age that people cannot receive God in his fullness and in his totality because everybody's stuck on a tradition of things. And this was a habit that Jesus was trying to break when he was walking the earth. He was trying to tell them, hey, listen, I need y'all to let go of all of these little traditions. We got so many traditions, you know, people come to church and don't realize that their con con tradition can hold them back from what God's trying to produce in their life. Sometimes, you know, because you go to a traditional, you went to a traditional Baptist church and everybody sit there and look around, you don't understand how to praise God. You get fearful of praising God. Just because of a tradition, you went to church and the church was quiet. You go to church, they got some noise. It's, you know, it, it frightens you so you can't break out of your tradition so God can really touch you. I tell you, if you break out of tradition, you'll be able to see miracles that take place. If you See, see what tradition does is it puts you uh, uh, in a place where you can't really receive miracles because tradition don't understand miracles. Tradition is just used to, amen, I just come to church, amen, bring my Bible, have my cross around my neck, sit down, and I leave right out the same way I came in. That's traditional. But when I break tradition, when I come in, I don't leave the same way. Somebody shout hallelujah. And the job of the church, because the church is the hospital. Now, if you go to the hospital one way and you leave the same way you left, you better not visit the hospital no more. Amen. I, I believe this hospital out here in Statesboro about like that. They got a little, a little foolishness out here in Statesboro. It's probably the worst hospital in the world. But you go out to this hospital. You go in there with some problems. You're going to leave out with the same problems. But when you come to church, you got to drop your traditions at the door and say, God, whatever you want to do with me, let you. I, I want you to do whatever you want to do. Because what tradition do, it holds you down. Tradition won't allow you to move. Tradition won't allow you to experience the power of God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Get me Matthew chapter 15. Matthew chapter 15. Look at somebody and say, we got to transgress the tradition. You know, even, amen. See, back in the day, you go to a praise team rehearsal. You go to, amen, a choir rehearsal, and because they're not uh, traditional, uh, amen, there will be a praise that will break out in the middle of rehearsal. There will be tears flowing, people fall into a grand worship because they were not traditional. But because tradition say, amen, you come in here at 8 o'clock, we're going to do our, amen, uh, 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 do our thing if you will, rehearse these songs, and at 9 o'clock we got to go. 
But when you break tradition, you will come in, amen, at the praise rehearsal, and then somebody might sing a key, and somebody say, hold on now, I, I, I need a few minutes. And say that one more time. Can we stay right here in it? No, we got to go. See, tradition says go to the next song. But, amen, the power of God, when you allow the Holy Ghost to move, y'all ain't saying nothing. See, tradition is having that, amen, program. See, we come in, we're going to pray. After the prayer, we're going to read a scripture. After the scripture, we're going to have praise and worship. After praise and worship, we're going to have the offering. Then the preacher going to preach. That's tradition. But then when God moves, he said, hold on now. In the midst of prayer, I'm going to do something. And if I, if I see, we didn't come here for tradition. We came for God to move. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Let me talk to y'all over here. I did not come here for a traditional experience. I came for God to do something new in my life. Somebody shout hallelujah. Bible says here, 15 and 1, read, uh-huh. Then came Jesus. Scribes and Pharisees, which were of Jerusalem, saying, uh -huh. Why do thy disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? Why do you transgress the tradition of the elders? Uh-huh. For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. Uh-huh. But he answered and said unto them, why do ye also transgress the commandment? So now they're questioning tradition. Why are people transgressing tradition? God said, you were talking about transgressing tradition. Why are y'all transgressing my commandments? And see, if God say, let everything that has breath praise the Lord, and you don't praise God, you are not transgressing no tradition. You're transgressing the commandment of God. And we have a lot of people that come to church transgression, uh, transgressing the amen command of God and not your tradition that your grandmama taught you. Not that tradition that your daddy taught you. Now, you know, see, when we get stuck in these little traditions, it's hard for God to shake something because you're expecting something other than God to move. I'm used to the program going this way. But the folks back in the day, they had enough sense to put the little, little, little words in the bottom of the program and say this service is subject to change by the power of the Holy Ghost. I need to go back to a church that don't mind, amen, somebody singing once, you know. See, back in the day, hallelujah, you know, see, they didn't mind singing one song. And that one song would be so powerful, people laid out all over the, uh, the church, people falling off all over the place because it was that one song. They said, well, traditionally say sing five songs, but God said, I can't let this song go. And because I can't let this song go, I see the mother over there, mother bouncing her leg. We got the drummer shaking, people falling out all over the place because there was a power going on. And we got to get back to the power of God and let the tradition go. My God, somebody shout hallelujah. Because somebody say, I gotta let that tradition go. I know tradition say if you got a new hairdo, amen, don't swing your head too hard. But amen, when the power of God moved, if your hair was one way when you came in, amen, it was slick, amen, when you came in the church, then you walk out with an afro. My God, the power of God took place. And I need the power of God. I don't want your tradition. It's too much traditional people going around here. But I need some people that are in tune with the power of God. See, the power of God allow things to flow. The power of God allow miracles to happen. But your tradition will hold back miracles. Your tradition will hold back healing. Your tradition will hold back breakthrough. Your tradition will hold back people getting through. Somebody shout hallelujah. Tradition won't allow healing to take place. Tradition will say, your head hurt, go get you some Advil. But if you're not tradition, you say, hey, pastor, my head hurt, can you pray for me? My God. I wish I had a few of y'all with me. See, y'all don't know nothing about no real prayer. See, people that have power and experience prayer understood what prayer was about. Traditional folk don't understand that. So when they see something natural happen, they say, oh, I need to go get my pop my Advil. I need to go get me something for my headache. My head hurting. That's tradition. But somebody know that God is able to heal you. You say, hey, 
I don't I want any popular pills or not. I want somebody to lay hands on me. I want to call the y'all ain't saying nothing. Because the Bible said that God can heal every man of it. I don't care if it's a headache, God can heal it. I don't care if the truth say God can heal it. God is a healer. Somebody shout hallelujah. Tradition will break you away from the true experience of God. And see, we, amen, the Bible, I'm going to show you this, Mark chapter 8. See, tradition will hold miracles back. And see, God is a God that do something outside of tradition to show you that he's God. 8 and 22, uh-huh, read. And he cometh to Bethsaida, and they bring a blind man unto him, and besought him to touch him. And he took the blind man by the hand, and led him out of the town. And when he had spit on his eyes, and put his hands upon him, he asked him if he ought, saw aught. Now, if you was a traditional person, and you saw God take a blind man, now first of all, he took him out of the city. He took him out of his comfort zone. Not only, see, you know, when people that are blind, they normally they get a routine and they use a stick so they understand where they are in familiar uh, territory. But see, God did something different. He took him outside of his territory and then spit. Now, if you was out there and saw him spit on somebody's eyes, your tradition would say, man, this, this, this man, something wrong with this man. And then right after he did that, the man couldn't see like he should have seen. Watch this read, uh-huh. And he looked up and said, I see men as trees. I see men as trees, uh-huh. Walking. Uh-huh. After that, he put his hand again upon his eyes uh -huh. and made him look up. And he was restored and saw every man clearly. And he sent him away to his house, uh -huh. saying, neither go into the town nor tell it to any, any in the town. Now watch this. Now, not only did Jesus lay hands on him, and he couldn't see correctly like he wanted to see the first time. Tradition would have said, hey, you got me seeing trees. Don't touch me no more. My God. See, a lot of times if we don't get that one thing what we read it, really need it right then and there, we say, okay, I, I'm out of this. I don't want to do it. But God said, hey, come on back around. Let me touch you one more time. I just need, if you can come back over here, let, I, I, let me just touch you just one more time. Look at somebody and say, one touch just ain't enough. I, I need God to touch me again and, and again and again. And then when you get addicted to it, you say, God, can you touch me every day? Can you touch me in the morning when I wake up? Can you touch me in the afternoon right before I go to sleep? Amen, God, can you rock me to sleep because I just want a, a touch from you. Somebody shout hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, when was the last time you had a touch from God? You know what? You know, see, God, amen, ain't no funny bone in my body. See, God is the only man that can touch me the way he do. Y'all ain't saying, he's the only man that can touch me and make me feel some type of way. He's the only man that can touch me. And I said, Lord, you touch me. Can you just touch me one more time? He's the only man that I can get on my knees and beg and say, God, touch me. Lord, somebody shout hallelujah. I need to grab hold of somebody's hand and say, neighbor, I just want to touch touch from God. And when he touched me, I want to feel my God. Somebody shout hallelujah. See, God will touch you on the outside and you feel it on the in my God. That, 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 that's, that's a crazy touch. See, you can touch anybody, but God's the only person that can touch me on the outside and I can feel it from the crowd. I can feel it from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. I can feel something tingling down on the inside when God touched me. And it's because I'm not traditional. I'm a man that like God, amen, to touch me. Let us feel it, just spit, spit it, fair, feel me. Somebody shout hallelujah. You got your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm spirit filled. And when God feel me, I want it to overflow. Don't just touch my inside. But I want you to make it overflow. Somebody shout hallelujah. Grab hold of your neighbor and say, neighbor, uh, don't you want God to touch you? I bet you want him to touch you like he touched me. You didn't see me running around the church. You didn't see me dancing like I was dancing. You didn't
and see me leaping like I was leaping. I bet you want God to touch you like he touched me. Somebody shout hallelujah. Some of y'all jealous because God touched me like that. My God, some of y'all looking at me funny because God, when it touched me, it made me feel good. Y'all ain't saying nothing. You know, there was a lady, amen, she's related to, amen, amen, to my father's side of the family. Her name is Shirley Caesar, amen, and she, amen, was talking about how God was good. Amen, and see, I, I agree with Sister Shirley because, amen, she started talking about Campbell's soup. And then she was talking about how good God was. She said, he's not just good, but he's mm -mm good. And I was trying to figure that thing out when I was younger. I didn't understand it, but now that I'm older, I understand. Sometimes you run out of adjectives to describe how good God is. So sometimes I just say, oh, he's just good. He, mm -mm. He's just good. He, I, you know when you eat something real good, you eat some good food, you lose all words. You just say, mm, uh, it's just, oh God, it's not just good, it's just, mm. somebody shout hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, have you tried him? Have you tasted him? And he's just, mm. you want to put your hands together and give God a praise and shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I like to try food, amen. And when you get some good food in there, your reaction speak. It's a, mm, 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 mm. I can't explain. Mm, I can't. I can't. Have you ever experienced something that was so good that you could not find an adjective to describe how good it was? Some of y'all need to stop going to McDonald's so you can experience it. You go to McDonald's, you ain't gonna have that experience. See, and the way God operates is that he wants us to taste him. Psalm writer said, oh, taste and see that the Lord is what? Good. I just, just, just get a little taste of them. And see when I get, see, he didn't say get a big old plate to consume me. He said, taste me. See what an appetizer does or a taste does, it, it, it gets you ready. It's a, oh my God, that was, woo. Let me get a little bit more of that. And see, God is so big, he just gives you samples at a time. And that's why your drive is like your drive. It's a, God, drop a little, oh God, that was good. Can I get a little bit more of that? Can you serve me that again? I, and see, this is what the Bible talks about. He that hunger and thirst. See, when you get a taste, it makes you a little more hungry. I, I desire a little bit more of you, God. I want to break out of my tradition and say, Lord, whatever you want to do in me, just do it. Just give me another taste. Somebody shout hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, have you tasted him yet? Hallelujah. When you taste them, you try them. Amen. And I love that old song there. Say, have you tried Jesus? Amen. And some of the saints will say, well, I done tried him. And I found out that he, he's all right. You know, he, 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 he's good. And then, you, and then you start shouting, all right. And they say, all right. All right. All right. How you feel? Oh, he's all right. When, when did you try him? On Monday, I found out he was all right. On Tuesday, I found out he was all right. Late in the... Late in the midnight hour, he was good. You never read your Bible. You must never saw Paul, Paul and Silas. Paul and Silas got a testimony. And they say he's good late in the midnight hour. Peter said that he's good when I'm locked up. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Daniel said when I'm in the lion's den, he's still good. Hebrews 4 said when I'm in the fire, he's still good. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, God is still good. I just got to get rid of my tradition. Somebody shout hallelujah. So this man goes out of town. Most case scenario people will say, oh, he 
He didn't do it on the first time. I felt the touch, but he didn't do what I wanted him to do. So then tra tradition will make us back away from God. But when you're hungry enough, my God, somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. One thing about tradition, tradition will fool you. Because what tradition does is it'll have you in such a strong routine, you'll think you got something. Tradition to have you in your mind, you thinking, oh, that, no, that got to be God. You ain't getting no real experience. Oh, yeah, that's God. That's God. Oh, that's God. But when you really experience God by laying aside that old tradition, somebody shout hallelujah. See, Jesus, he broke all types of traditions. Give me Hebrews chapter 7. You know, first thing is, is that most case scenario, amen, uh, we, we look at, <laughs> hallelujah, the way that Israel was when they would sin, they would have to go get a lamb. <laughs> they would have to go get a, a sacrifice. That was the tradition for Israel. But God said, you know what, I'm going to break this tradition. I'm going to become the lamb. So God, amen, comes. Not only does he become the lamb, but he becomes a lion out of the tribe of Judah. Not only does, that, does he does that, but when you study your Bible, you'll find out that every priest came out of the tribe of Levi. And God said, I'm going to break that up. I'm going to come out of the tribe of Judah. And still become a priest, my God. I wish I had some Bible readers. Give me the book of Hebrews chapter 7 and start at verse number, hallelujah, uh, uh, 11. Uh -huh. If therefore perfection were by the Le Levitical priesthood, for under it the people received the law, what further need was there that another priest should rise after the order of Melchizedek and not be called after the order of Aaron? For the priesthood being changed, there is made of necessity a change also of the law. Uh -huh. For he of whom these things are spoken pertaineth to another tribe. Yeah, so uh -huh. now he said now, normally it was entitled the Levitical priesthood. And he said, but since I'm coming to change some traditions, the first thing I'm going to change is how I'm going to come. So God does not come through the tribe of Levi. But here we go. Read. Uh huh. For he of whom these things were spoken pertaineth of another tribe, uh -huh. of which no man gave attendance at the altar. Yes. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Our Lord, talking about God manifesting the flesh, he came out of the tribe of Judah. Uh huh. Of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. Now Moses give this tradition. He said now. I want him to give, of course, he get it from God. God tell him to give, you know, Aaron, your son, your son. But God said, I'm going to break that up. I'm going to change the tradition. I'm not coming, amen, through the priest anymore because my presence, amen, in this dispensation ain't just going to be shown up by the priest. But he said that he's going to inhabit the praises. Y'all ain't talking because y'all ain't read this verse in your life. He inhabits the praises of his what? people and I found out that Judah oh my God Judah is an indication of praise so God said I ain't just coming down amen in the Levitical priesthood but when I come I'm coming through praise God. because I want to make the devil angry I want to make him mad because he used to be praised but now when I come, I'm coming through praise. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Somebody shout hallelujah. And see, to break your, amen, tradition, you need to start praising God a little more. In fact, let the cute dance go. Let the pretty shout, the pretty hallelujah go. But when I transgress tradition, my praise ain't cute no more. My God, y'all ain't saying nothing. My, my, my praise ain't, you know, I can do the little two-step there. But when it get good, I start to jump. I start to, y'all ain't saying, I start to get rude. I start to get ruthless with it. I, I start running around the church and ain't nobody chasing me. I start waving my hands 
and ain't nobody speaking to me. I start getting crazy because there's a praise down on the inside and I'm trying to get this thing out. Somebody shout hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I got to praise. You better watch out. Amen. Y'all better be careful because the way I praise God, Hey man, you might better get me a usher, y'all. Y'all ain't so. Y'all might make a ring around me because when I get done praising him, I'm breaking tradition by praising God. Because tradition is say, hey man, get your little step in. That's the tradition. It say, get your step in. When you break it, you. You start to run. You start to hop. You start to skip. Because I ain't just doing the traditional praise. I'm trying to get something from God. I want God to touch me. And I found out when I praise him, he comes hovering over. So every time I shout hallelujah, I'm looking for God to touch me. Every time I leap for joy, I'm looking for God to touch me. Every time I do my dance, I'm looking for God to touch me. Every time I spin a rap, I'm looking for God to touch me. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, don't you look at me funny while I'm praising God. I just want to touch. I just want to move. I just want to experience the glory of God. Somebody ought to shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, don't you make fun of me. I'm just praising my God. You don't know my testimony, but when you look at me praise him, you'll find out that my praise is speaking for me. You say, well, Pastor, how in the world can a praise speak? My God, it's called body language. And every time I stomp my feet, it's giving God the glory. Every time I clap my hands, I'm giving God the glory. Every time I leap for joy, I'm giving God the glory. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, when was the last time you got out of your cute place? When was the last time that you ran around? When was the last time they had to move the seats out your way? When was the last time they had to put a circle around you? When was the last time you started on this side of the church and ended up on that side of the church? When was the last time you had a crazy prayer? When was the last time you you lost your mind in your praise. When was the last time? Somebody shout hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, today gonna be my day. I'm about to show you how I glorify my king. I'm about to show you how I transgress tradition by my praise. Somebody shout hallelujah. See, it's not traditional to have a praise break right in the middle of the message. It's not traditional to jump out of your seat in the middle of a message. It's not traditional to leap for joy in the middle of a message. But when God get on, when God get a hold of me, I can't control myself. When God get a hold of me, I know that I got victory. When God get a hold of me, I can't keep myself. When God when God Y'all be seated. I don't want to break no tradition in here. Y'all be seated. I don't want to break no tradition. I don't, break. I don't want to make the devil mad. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to make the devil mad. Y'all be seated. I don't want I don't, wanna, I don't want you to give God that much glory. No, y'all sit down. Y'all don't do that. Y'all don't do that. Don't, don't give God praise like that. Y'all don't leave for, don't leave for joy like that. Don't give victory like that. Ah, nah, bah, bah, bah. Hey! Hey! 
You don't want to make the devil mad, too mad. Y'all don't want to. Glory to God. Glory. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Let me give y'all this next verse. Glory! Mark 7 and 9, I'm going to get y'all out of here. Glory. Mark chapter 7. 7 and 9. Come on. And he said unto them, Yes. Full well ye reject the commandment of God. You reject the commandments of God. That ye may keep your own tradition. That you may keep your own tradition. Don't get stuck in a place. Please don't get stuck in a place where you're keeping tradition and rejecting commands that God has given. The commands of God is greater than your tradition. I don't care where you learned it from. I don't care who taught it to you. But when God is trying to move and he commands us to do certain things, God is seeking for true worshipers. He's looking for praises. He's looking for bodies to use and those things will break your little tradition but you got to give it up come on let's break tradition everybody come to the altar we're about to break some tradition I'm closing here we're about to get done we're done Come on, let's break tradition. Y'all come closer. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Let's break tradition. Let's break tradition. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Come on, let's stop talking to him. Come on, cry out to him. Come on, break your tradition. Come on, stop breaking your tradition. Come on, stop breaking your tradition. Come on, break your tradition. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Father, we came right now. 
Asking you to break every chain of tradition. Break religion out of us. Hallelujah. Lord, break those traditional mindsets. Those traditional behaviors. Lord, in the name of Jesus. God, we don't want to be traditional. We don't want to be traditional. God, we want to break it, break it, break it. Break the yoke of tradition. Break the bondage of tradition. Break the laws of tradition. Break it, break it. Break it. Yeta, Alamadiosa. Break it, yoke, break the yokes, God. Break the yokes. Break the yokes. Break the yokes. Hallelujah. Lord, we don't want to be the same. Lord, we don't want to be the same. We don't want to be the same. Break it, break it, break it. Break the yokes. Glory. Glory. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Lord, we need you right now. Hallelujah. Oh, my Masha. Lord. Lord, do it, Jesus. Hey, Masha. Do it, Jesus. 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 Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 God, we need you right now. Break the yokes of tradition, God. Break, break up, break up. Lord, we want to experience true glory, your true power. Authentic power, Lord. Lord, the authenticity of your glory. Lord, we want to experience it. We want to experience it. Hallelujah. Lord, we want to experience it. We want to experience your glory. And I'm outside. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my, 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 uh. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my. Break tradition, break tradition, break traditions, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we want to experience. God, give us an experience. Experience. God, give us a taste. 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 A taste. Lord, we want to taste you. We want to taste your goodness. We want to taste your goodness. We want to taste your goodness. 
We want to taste your goodness. We want to taste your goodness. We want to taste your goodness. Oh, my, 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 uh. We want to taste your goodness. Oh, Jesus. We want to taste your goodness. Shanda la la We want to taste your goodness, Lord. King of glory. King of glory. King of glory. King of glory, fill this place. King of glory, fill this place, fill this place, fill this place. Fill this place, fill this place. Fill this place, fill this place, fill this place, fill this place. King of glory. King of glory. King of glory. Feel this place, feel this place, feel this place. King of glory, feel this place. Lord, we want to experience this time. Andala Bantia. Glory, 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 glory. Your glory, your glory, your glory. Your glory, your glory, your glory, your glory. King of glory. Oh, Jesus. Yanda la mancia. Oh, glory. King of glory. Yes, I yanda la mancia. My God. Hallelujah. Feel this place, feel this place. Feel this place, Jesus. Oh, King of Glory. Glory, Jesus. I'm about to let y'all go by just, just a couple of more minutes. That's it. Let's let's let request his presence. Request yes. Request his request it. Request his presence. Request his presence. Request his presence. Go it. Go oh, my 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 son. Go it. Go it. Go it. Go it. My God. Go it. Go it. Go it. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ba, 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 ba. Glory. 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 Thank you. Glory, 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 glory. Here I'm my master. Glory, glory. Glory, Jesus. Shana la la master. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, my master. Here's the word. Bow down and say you are God. Every man. Bow down and say you are king. So let's start right now. Glory. Hallelujah. Why would we wait? We should pray. Thank you, Jesus. You now Glory. in victory. Just want to be with you. Oh, my, my, 
just want to be Glory. King of glory. Just want to be with you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Just want to be with you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, the world will bow down and say, You are God. Every man. Thank you, Jesus. Well, bow down and say you are king. Basha. So let's start right now. Why would we wait? We should praise you now. In victory. King of glory, fill this place. I just want to be with you. Oh, my, 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 I just want to be with you. King of glory, fill yes, this place. I just want to be with you. I just want to be with you. So we'll sing hallelujah until you come again. And we'll dance in your presence until you come again. We will sing hallelujah until you come again. Thank you, Lord. And we'll dance in your presence until you come again. King of glory, fill this place. Just want to be with you. Thank you, Jesus. Just want to be with you. King of glory, fill this place. Just want to be with you. I just want to be with you. We will sing hallelujah until you come again. And we'll dance in your presence until you come again. Thank you, Lord. We will sing hallelujah till you come again. And we'll dance in your presence until you come again. Thank you, Lord. We will sing hallelujah until you come again. Thank you, Lord. And we'll dance in your presence until you come again. Thank you, thank you. We will sing hallelujah until you come again. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And we'll dance in your presence until you come again. We will sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. We will sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. And we'll dance in your presence, dance in your 
presence, dance in your presence, dance in your presence. We will dance in your presence, dance in your presence, dance in your presence. Yes, the world will bow down and say you are God. Thank you, Jesus. Every man will bow down and say you are king. God wants us to break traditions. Get before him, not according to your tradition. Cry out before him, lay out before him. So God can get what he deserve out of your life. We appreciate the Lord what he's given us this afternoon. We'll be back here tonight at 6.30 for our evening service. Come back tonight. Invite somebody with you. Believe God's going to do something. Hallelujah. The Bible says, except the man is born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom. If you have not been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I believe today may be your day. Belief alone won't save you. Belief can't save you alone. Hallelujah. Mark chapter 16 and 15 say, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Matthew 28, 19, Go ye therefore teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. God is here. This is an atmosphere conducive to what God wants to do. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Certainly thank God for our first time guests again. God bless you. Certainly hope you enjoyed yourself. Hope you guys come back and visit us.